welcome back to Cloud9. We have been speaking with Jonathan Bagan, who is a, the chairman of the Caribbean Committee Against Sex Crimes and Attorney at Law. Uh, we were just speaking about uh, sexual predators on online social media apps such as TikTok, Instagram, and stuff like that. But one of the things I want to get from you, Jonathan, is which youths are most at risk? Um, you know, a lot of times kids have underlying issues that a lot of times parents aren't always there to supervise. But is there any red flags in terms of children's behavior, et cetera, that we can look out for as parents? Well, I would first start by saying everybody is at risk, including adults, because human trafficking also takes place with adults. Yes. And what the um, what these people do is they will exploit any of your needs. So a child could come from a wealthy family, but if they are being neglected, like with um, attention from their parents or their family, um, or if they, if they are lonely and they want a boyfriend or a girlfriend, the pedophile will figure out what, what you're lacking and try to offer it to you. That's what they do. Okay. And it's wow interesting and you know when it comes to that right now in trinidad and tobago we're seeing and again it's around the world e-learning platforms in tnt and with the increase of our kids now surfing the internet do you think that the legislation that we have in place currently is sufficient enough to protect our children from well being exploited well, I would say it is sufficient. The cyber crimes bill hasn't passed, and the remember the pace at which technology moves. By the time something reaches in Parliament five years later, the technology already changed. But we do have some legislation, Section 25 of the Children's Act. This is the Children's Act, Chapter 4601. It makes it a crime to meet with a child after at least two earlier communications. Um, for the purpose of sexual grooming. So if a pedophile contacted a child twice online and then said, let's meet up, it becomes a crime and the maximum penalty is 20 years in prison. Okay, and you mentioned sexual grooming there, and we, we touched on it a little bit before we went to the break, but as it pertains to sexual grooming online, uh, walk us through a bit of what exactly, uh, again, uh, as an adult, because like you said, adults, we're not exempted from it. Human trafficking is a real thing. But what are the things, what are the telltale signs that we can look out 